Okay, hey, it's Chris, and what I'm going to do today is go over the math section of subtest 2. And so just remember that there are two parts to this subtest. One is on science, as you know, and the other one is on math. And today's little uh, lecture, or what have you, will be on math. And remember that I'm telling you, or suggesting that you aim for 17 to be sure on, and making sure that you do all of the questions, but out of 26 questions, I recommend that you be certain on 17 of them so that you'll have the best shot at passing the test. But you don't want to quit after 17, obviously. You want to try to get everything uh, correct. Uh, but some you might have to guess on, because uh, if I didn't tell you earlier, they're throwing out three questions, and you don't know which ones those are. So you've got to treat them all as if they count. Uh, but what I'm going to suggest you do is, uh, you know, aim for 17. So what I want to do then is just sort of walk you through each one of these math questions from beginning to end, even though, you know, I would recommend that you uh, try to find the easy ones first. But let's just do some, uh, some simple math together, and uh, that is CSET math. Now, the only real difficulty with CSET math is this, that they tend to ask you, instead of just one straightforward thing like reducing a fraction, they might have you do a number of different operations to answer one question. So it really is just C best plus. I would recommend that you review like an 8th grade math book. Saxon Math is a good one, uh, or any simple math review book that's at the 8th grade level would be good. Um, although they do ask you to do some things with the quadratic equation and, and, and things of that nature, uh, it does seem to be, or what people report that has been most helpful, is to study 8th grade math. Okay, without further ado, let's, uh, let's dive in and, and take a look at the first question. It says... If the number 360 is written as a product of its prime factors in the form a cubed, b squared, and c to the first power, what's the numerical value of a, b, and c? So this is what's happening in here. You have got to factor 360 first. Then you've got to find which number repeats most often in terms of a cube, and then which one would be the square, and then which one is only a singular uh, to the first power after you've gotten the product. Well, if that sounds a little bit abstract or if my explanation wasn't any good, just take a look at what it really looks like. When you and I factor 360, what we're going to come up with is this. We are going to have 2 times 2 times 2. We will also have as our factors 3 times 3, and then as our last standalone factor, times 5. Now how did I get there? I got there simply by dividing 360 by 2 as many times as I could, because remember, if it ends in an even number, it can go down by 2. Now, if the number I ultimately arrive at is not divisible by 2 any longer, but is divisible by 3, then I continue to divide it by 3. And then once I'm, um, if I find a number that ends in 0 or 5 uh, at the end that's div divisible, uh, if the number ends in 0 or 5, I know it will be divisible by 5. So I just look at that last number in this position, and if it's even, I'll continue to divide by 2. If the number at the end is divisible by 3, I'll divide by 3. And then if the number is itself divisible by 0 or 5, I will divide by 5. Well, I find that I can divide that number by 2 three times. I can divide it by 3 three times, and then ultimately by 5 until I'm down to the bare essentials. So what am, am I asked to do? Well, look, I am asked to find a cubed b squared and c to the first. Well, this would be my a right here. This would be my b right here, and this would be my c right here. So when I simply add these factors of 2 plus 3 plus 5, I will end up with 10. A, then, is the correct answer. So I hope that made sense. If it didn't, uh, let me know, and I will certainly try to redo that one. Uh, since I do want to have good quality materials up here for you to uh, to practice with. So uh, watch that again if you need to, and if it's still not uh, clear to you, then by all means send me an email and I'll, uh, I'll redo it. Okay, let's go to the next one, uh, question 28. 